My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Well, did you know that those are only his last words according to Matthew and Mark? It's in the book of Luke that he says, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. The main problem is none of the gospel authors say what they're recording were the last words of Jesus. Um, actually, that's literally what they say. Mark says that Jesus said, My God, why have you forsaken me at the ninth hour and then breathed his last, i.e. died. Luke says that Jesus said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit, and then breathed his last, i.e. died. Mike Lacona has pointed out it was normal within the ancient standards of writing to transplant a saying of someone to a later or different time. Each gospel author probably preserved what they thought were the most important words for their audiences, and then transplanted those words to the time right before Jesus died on the cross. Yeah, that's nice, but then ancient standards of writing were not considered inerrant. But the Bible is. If an ancient source, quote, transplanted a saying by a person to a later time and in a different context, then that is inaccurate and thus errant. But the Bible is supposed to be inerrant, right? Oh, and by the way, Mike Lacona has also said that Mark was, quote, confused about some things. So I guess no inerrancy? Are there any differences in the Gospels that you don't think are adequately explained by appealing to compositional devices such as literary spotlighting? Yes, I, I do. Perhaps the most difficult one, I, I think, would be, um, in, in my opinion, is the location of the feeding of the 5,000. Uh, Mark doesn't tell us where it occurred. Luke says it happened in Bethsaida or very close. So what's really interesting is in Mark, Jesus says, cross the lake to the other side. Now, rem uh, remember, it doesn't, he doesn't say where they were, but he says they, he told them to get into a boat and to cross over to Bethsaida. Well, how can you cross over to Bethsaida when, according to Luke, that's where you started out? I think that's one of the most difficult ones. That looks more like just probably Mark is confused.